God, somebody's feeling cocky today, huh? You give this guy a win, dude, and he just takes off from there. At least I got a win. Multiple wins. Joey's definitely going to be one of the people who's going to give me a run for my money. I will be the next team master. I'll be walking out with that money. Game on. This week, we're testing Dimension. Dimension shows depth, and you can actually make something stand out on the skin. For this challenge, you must tattoo something so recognizable that any error will be obvious. Landmarks. Holy <laughs> Landmark tattoos, they're tough. There's lots of little details. You want people to be able to recognize what it is, or you drop the ball. Today, your canvases want realistic tattoos of places that are important to them. Dimension is crucial to realism because it makes landmarks impressive and recognizable instead of cartoonish and fake. I'm definitely feeling really confident going into this tattoo. Photorealism is one of my specialties. Go back just a little bit, there you go. I'm basically kicking some ass and showing the detail and the dimension. A lot of the people are like, oh, I can do photorealism. I don't think uh, half of them here really can do it. This week, we asked you to use Dimension to tattoo a recognizable landmark. Joey. Man, this is a nice tattoo. A lot of the detail on this is suggestive, and that's what I like about it. A lot of little tricks in there to suggest all those beams without actually outlining every single beam. The darkness and the richness in this really gives you the sense of dimension. Great job, man. It's good to see somebody shine. Today, we tested your ability to use dimension to tattoo a familiar landmark. One of you impressed us. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. It's a beautiful tattoo. You really created a lot of depth and dimension with it. Congrats. Thank you. This week, we're testing consistency. Consistency is being able to show pretty much the same thing over and over again. You must be able to tattoo uniform lines, shading, and color, giving your design a harmonious look. There's no better test of consistency than an image so iconic that any inconsistency will be obvious. Comic book characters. Yes. Challenges of pulling off comic book tattoo are making it as direct to the comic character at hand. People that are comic nerds, which I say that proudly, they know when something's off. Founded in 1934, DC Comics is home to the world's greatest superheroes, like the Green Lantern, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and of course, Batman. But this week, you won't be tattooing a superhero. You must tattoo a super villain. Without villains, you have no need for heroes. Generally, villains are more dynamic than the hero themselves. Anya, Catwoman. All right, you ready? I definitely want to try and beat Jimmy. He sneaked out the win last time. It's almost like traditional, which is kind of the cool part of this challenge. I need to be consistent in reproducing the actual comic reference. Definitely have to change these needles out to something smaller just to do what we're doing. If I can nail this tattoo, then I might have a chance to win. Artists, today we tested your consistency by asking you to tattoo a badass supervillain. Joey. Your attention to detail, wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was going to take. Yeah. So I was like second guessing myself at some points. We're trying to judge consistency. This is the perfect example. Every line, boom, 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 boom. This is very tedious amount of detail you put in this thing, and I I applaud you for it. Thank you. Today, we asked you to show consistency by tattooing a supervillain. One of your supervillains was badass, but three were mediocre. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. Joey, you captured the essence, the playfulness, the danger of Catwoman. It looks like it was peeled from the pages of the comics and pasted on flesh. I love everything about it. Thank you very much. This week, we're testing your ability to use finesse. 
Finesse in tattooing is your hand movements, your needle depth, your patience with somebody because they might be in too much pain. As a tattoo artist, you must be able to handle everything from complex tattoos to difficult canvases. The more complex the tattoo or the placement, the more finesse is required to create a masterpiece. There's no better test of finesse than tattooing one of the most difficult parts of the body, the head. Holy <laughs> we're doing head tattoos. This sucks. Your tattoo can be in any style, but it must be on your canvas's head. It's on their head. You cannot <laughs> this up. Joey, can you help me out one second? The thing looks way too small, right? Just a little bit compared to the hand. See how much bigger your foot is than your hand? Tattoo Baby's design is jacked. What do you think about this hand? Is that one or two hands? Two hands. Shape that one darker yeah. than the other one, so that way it looks like they're separate hands. I'm not going to have enough time to finish my design. I'm really scared that the judges are going to rip me apart. Let me ask you a question. Let's just say you're in this competition. You see somebody that you know is doing something wrong, would you tell them? <laughs> I just can't stop thinking in the back of my head that I'm shot myself in the foot. That's $100,000 if I have to go home and she doesn't go home because I helped her. It is like a tough choice though. I should just keep my mouth shut. Artists, today you had to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing a challenging part of the body, the head. Joey. I like the placement and the curvature of the gecko goes with the shape of her head. I think that's really good design. It really does look like it's sitting on the head. I know you had a bunch of different photos of this lizard. To put them all together to compile this position, bang up job, man. And the anatomy is great, the line work is great, the detail is great, the shading is great, the color is great, the contrast. You hit almost every single challenge throughout this entire competition on this one tattoo. I think you totally nailed it. I don't feel like these guys, I'm the odd man out. I don't like the way that you have the outline on this tattoo. And I, don't I was know using was... different line weights also. I mean, I know it's, it's, it was different. Ah, but that foot, look how many different size lines are on that foot and the ball's on the outline of the weird toe that comes out the back. Are you talking about the shadow or are you saying it comes to a ball? Oh no, like, I'm talking about, look at that back weird toe. Look yeah, at that it. point on the top of that back weird toe. It's just a dot. I've seen you do some amazing outlines throughout this competition. This, to me, in my opinion, is not one of them. Today, we asked you to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing your canvas's head. Two of you did incredible tattoos and are one step closer to the live finale. Jimmy, Joey, the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. Thank you. This week, you'll be judged on all of the essential skills, line, color, detail, value, dimension, everything you need to be a master tattooer must tattoo a design created by one of the guest judges that you've met. The designs have been hand-picked by Chris and Oliver to test your specific weakness. I'm bricks right now. Joey, this is your design. It's by Corey Miller. This is a black and gray tattoo. Make this happen, man. For Joey, we wanted to give him something that has to be soft. A lot of this stuff has been real heavy. And for this style of tattooing, you've got to have a lot of light areas. This is too easy. I know, you got a tough one. The four of you have three hours to tattoo this canvas at the same time. Your spot in the live finale is on the line. Don't screw it up. Your time starts now. For the first tattoo, all four of these designs are going on one canvas all at the same time. You ready? Let's do it. I'm the only one tattooing across body, which means my cart's on my opposite side, and I'm also sitting on one hip. Are you working backwards? Yeah. I mean, there's no other way to do it. You bring him back towards me a little bit. That's way more than a little bit. Jimmy's been on the bottom twice, and I haven't been in the bottom yet. That just shows that I'm better than he is. He's not going to win this thing. Is anybody else hot yet? Artists, this is it. This is your final chance to earn a spot in the live finale. You have six hours to tattoo the design of your choice, and your time starts now. 
These artists have got to this point because they battled it out. This is their reward to get to show the world what they do. I think we got it. These last tattoos should be the best of the bunch. There shouldn't be any misfires. This is the most important tattoo they can do. Yeah. I'm doing a color photorealism picture of a tiger. I know I can nail this tattoo. This is what I do. I'm trying to melt three pictures yeah, into yeah, one. Yeah. This is where Joey's really shining. He's really impressed us with a lot of his realism tattoos. So in this particular challenge, he made the smart move. Time's winding down, I definitely feel the pressure. Still so much to do. Still sick to my stomach. I can't even swallow. I'm just trying to get as much done as possible and then hopefully have time to go back in and add the details that I want to add. It's funny because I thought this was small. I'm definitely freaking out. To make it this far and then get eliminated now would be very tough to handle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Thank you, man. This was your last chance to prove you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. We asked you to complete two tattoos, one designed for you and one that was artist's choice. You will be judged on both tattoos. It's a pretty tight race. There's three slots, four people. You're all solid tattooers in different ways. The object here is to find the one that's the most solid in every way. Joey, let's start with you. You got Corey Miller's design for the four-in-one tattoo. The main thing I wanted to see from this is a good use of background where it doesn't overcome the image. What I don't like about it is you went so dark in the background that you lose that shape of the head. I tried to have some darks in there and then some super lights, like the top left wind cloud. That's barely even in there. You basically have the same tones on the inside of the mouth and the outside of the cloud when you refer to foreground and background. One can't be the same as the other. Let's move along to Artist Choice. Tell me about this design. It looked like you had different photos taped together to create a tiger. I like trying to put stuff together so it's not like the same generic tiger done over and over. It's a tough tiger. The mouth on this thing is great. I really do like the way that you did the details in it. But if you get in and you inspect it, it doesn't have that strong nose and that ridge line. If you open a tiger's mouth like that, they wrinkle completely. You translated it different, playing with three different photographs and piecing them together like that, it's tricky. Today, we gave you an epic challenge to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000. Based on your tattoos, one of you is going home. Jimmy, Joey, the two of you had the top tattoos of the day. Joey. Your first tattoo, you definitely had some critiques in there, but it was still solid. For your artist choice tattoo, you did a huge fancy tattoo showcasing your talents, and you did a great job. Thank you. Joey, you have also secured your place in the live finale. Congratulations. Thank you guys very much. This season, we gave the three finalists an amazing opportunity and an extreme challenge. For their final tattoo, they were assigned a master canvas and had 35 hours to tattoo the design and the style of their choice. And over the last several months, They've endured five seven-hour sessions to create a tattoo worthy of the title of Ink Master. Let's take a look at how it went. I have 35 hours. This is my time to shine. Give me the title. You ready to do this? Yeah. I'm not supposed to be open to anything, so I'm concerned that I'm going to get a tattoo I don't want. That's the drawing I did. My tattoo is a realistic underwater scene with a mermaid. That's what I'm going for is that big wow factor. I put everything I had into this tattoo. I came here to compete, and I came here to win the money. It's the best tattoo I've ever seen. Mark my words, I'm going to be the next Ink Master. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The finalists had 35 hours to create the best work of their careers. But will it be enough to earn them the title of Ink Master? It's time to reveal and critique the finalist tattoos. All right, Joey, you're up next. Let's bring out your master canvas. Chris Nunez. Joey, looking at this tattoo, man, you put a lot of 
time and effort into doing this. The one thing that we're missing in this is we're missing that rich contrast, which you do see in Tattoo Baby's Tattoo because of the use of black. What I pick immediately when I look at this is that if you look at the same color, whether it be blue, whether it be flesh tone, what the color may be, you're only one shade off from the next color as if you're picking it right off of the shelf. You know, you have to make things pop and you have to be able and willing to go ahead and commit to the palette that you're picking and go ahead and use that black, man. In, in my defense, though, in, in a, a lot of the underwater scenes that I did research, that that background is just one shade off in the background. And I understand what you're saying. Like, as a tattoo, yes, it probably did, needed more contrast. And I did try and go back in and add some black just to add the depth so it looked like it was she was close and it was farther away. Um, I guess but I just didn't What do we're that. looking for in this, and you know well enough from being here for this many weeks and from standing in the shoes you're standing in, is something that's gonna pop. You know, this tattoo is a beautiful tattoo. It just lacks a certain amount of pop. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Let me hear your final thoughts on Joey's peak. Well, let me open by saying this, Joey, you've never, ever been at the bottom. You've won twice, but you've never been at the bottom. Jimmy, up four times, down twice. I think that you have shown a great You've had a great outing, man. You know, you've done a lot of the different things that people are looking for. And I, you know, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Right, thanks, Chris. All right, Jimmy and Joey, one of you is about to be named Ink Master. All of that hard work is about to pay off. On the line, $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Jimmy, Joey, every drop of ink you've ever applied was all building towards this moment. Wow. And the judges have decided. Joey. You do have what it takes to be. Congratulations.